Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden, and today we are going to be going over 10 cheap, cheap, cheap trucks for under $5,000. I, I didn't know if there was 11 or 10 of them. That's why I had to take a peek at the old at the old laptop there for a second. But guys, before we get into this video, I actually wanted to ask you, would you guys like to see a cheap car video where it's like um for every budget? So I'll do like sedans for every, but cheap sedans for every budget, and it'll be like one sedan for under 1k, one's for under 2k, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20, and then 25k. Let me know. I feel like it might be a good idea, so I'm just going to ask you guys first if you think it's a good idea. And if it is, we'll, we'll get started on that. But either way, without further ado, let's get right into the video with number 10. Coming in at number 10 is the Honda Ridgeline. I'll take a Ridgeline up my booty hole. I don't know what that means. That makes no sense. I don't even know what a Ridgeline is, to be honest. But Honda Ridgeline, here's, here's the thing. It's hated. It's very hated. A lot of people like to talk bad about the Ridgeline. But listen, if you're looking to get into a cheap truck, you just need that bed, you know, and you got $5,000 and you really don't care about all the towing capacities and how good it looks, then a Honda Ridgeline's not a bad deal. It comes with a 3.5 liter V6 making 280 horsepower and it's a 4x4, of course. And 280 is actually on the higher side for this list. There's a couple that are higher than it for sure, but it's not bad. And on top of that, it's a V6, so it's better on gas. And it's reliable because it's a Honda. Yes, it's hideous. Yes, it's not as good as a truck as the others. Yes, it doesn't have as good of a bed as the others. But if you just want something like that's a truck for under 5K and you want reliability and cheap prices, hello Honda. And then at number nine, however, is going to a little bit of a cheat code, I guess. It depends on how you look at the word trucks, but it's the second generation Cadillac Escalade. In my opinion, growing up, these giant SUVs have always kind of been called trucks where I live, like Escalades, Tahoes, um, expeditions like those things are all like trucks up here like and then suvs are things that are like for chevy like the equinox would be an suv or like a i don't know you guys didn't know what i'm saying but the escalade comes with a 5.3 liter v8 making 295 horsepower and it is 4x4 once again that's a very good horsepower number and it's actually a really good motor too those are the same motors that they put in the tahoes and the silverado 1500s at the time which is still to this day a very good motor to be to be copping i was actually thinking about buying a 1500 silverado before i bought the integra thank god i didn't because i'm not a truck guy but i was thinking about doing it and uh also like escalade is just like it's the best of all worlds right it's got chevy reliability it's cheap as hell and it's luxurious and it's got tons and tons and tons of space yes it's not fast and yes it's very heavy but if you're just looking for a nice big old truck here you go partner Coming in at number eight, however, is going to the complete opposite of the spectrum. It is an incredibly miniature truck with a Toyota Tacoma first generation or second generation. Either one of them are fine and it's probably going to be easier for you to find a second gen for under 5k than a first gen. But either I like the first gen better, so I put the first gen here. Uh, Tacomas in general are just amazingly so cool. I love Tacomas. They are so slept on, dude. I freaking I hate it. It comes with a 3.4 liter V6 making 190 horsepower and it is 4x4. Yes. 190 horsepower is very low, especially on this list, but it's a mini truck, so it's incredibly lightweight. It's really, really cool looking. You could do any sort of overland build you want. It's a Toyota, so it's going to be reliable. It's cheap as hell. I love Tacomas. The only reason why this isn't that much higher on the list is because this is like a truck list, and I'm assuming most truck guys want bigger vehicles, so a lot of the top vehicles are larger, um, but I, I love the Tacoma, man. Coming in at number seven is going to a truck that I would classify as a mid-sized truck. I don't know. Listen, that might be the actual name. It's a Chevy Colorado first generation, by the way, but that might be the actual name for these uh, like trucks, like the miniature, like the size that aren't too small, but aren't too big either. They might be called mid-sized trucks, but I just came up with that on the spot and I'm pretty proud of myself with that terminology, to be honest. It comes with a 3.5 liter inline five, which is a little wacky that makes 220 horsepower and it's a four by four. I don't think I've ever heard of a truck with an inline five motor before. And the Colorado is definitely, definitely a wacky one. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that the Colorado is, you know, an attention grabber. It's not. Unless you want attention from like 80 year old ladies, you're not getting that much attention in a Colorado. But it's just a good truck, man. Like, the, I'm not the biggest truck guy. So when I look at trucks like these, I don't look at them as like, wow, can I lift that thing and make it like an off road monster? I more look at them as just like a means of transport, like a tool in a way, you know? It's got a bed. It's really good for transporting things and it can go wherever you want it to go. And the Colorado does all those things for really cheap. Coming in at number six, my friend, is going to the Jeep Wrangler TJ Hunt. My, I am not a Wrangler guy. My grandpa had a Wrangler. 
my dad's had wranglers my dad has a wrangler right now actually my uncle's had rain wranglers i personally don't like wranglers but i wish i did because i totally understand like it's such a weird car for me let me just tell you the engine real quick it comes with a four liter inline six that makes 190 horsepower and it's a four by four pretty average it's a small vehicle doesn't need a lot of horsepower it's not meant to go fast anyway it's meant to go off-road and it does that so well taking the top off of one of those things i love riding in wranglers but everything else about them i don't like the four liter inline six by the way is one of the most reliable motors of all time so you're good with that and the wrangler obviously is super fun to customize and it's I'm not gonna lie it's definitely a good vehicle like like you would love this vehicle if you're if you're looking for like a off-road overlanding style vehicle and you live in like the northeast or something like that you will love the wrangler it's just not my personal i don't know what it is man i wish i could put my tongue on it but i can't i can't do it coming in at number five however is a truck that i really do like it is the chevy s10 this is another mini truck for sure but it's in my opinion decently better than the first gen tacomas they come with a 4.3 liter v6 making 195 horsepower and it is a 4x4 a lot of people actually turn these chevy s10s into like drift trucks and race trucks because they're just so lightweight and they have such a big engine bay and they're just really funny to see drifting and everything and i respect the hell out of that now in terms of looks looks like you know it looks a little bit like gary Busey of the truck world it's not the best looking truck i'm not gonna lie but if you're just looking for like a fun little truck hello partner these little trucks are more my style for sure that's why the chevy s10 is at number five but i think even you truck guys i think you truck guys need to you know branch out from the big old diesels a little bit and start looking into the littler smaller end trucks because yes i get it you know you want the towing capacity but how often do you really use that towing capacity let's be honest you know like the chevy s10 probably will do just fine but here it is anyway my friend the big boy trucks the last four are pretty much all big boy trucks there's one that's not a big boy truck but number four is the ford f-250 10th generation i had to look up what generation is the one that i was thinking of when i was doing this video i did not realize there's like 13 generations of the ford f-series that blew my mind i'm just gonna say that it comes with a 7.3 liter turbo diesel v8 making 250 horsepower and it is a 4x4 to be honest that's really low i hear a lot of people always talk about how the 7.3 is a great motor and everything like that and like it's such a good motor but 250 horsepower i feel like is not good at all uh, it's very very low but obviously the towing capacity is there i the only reason why this isn't there's literally one of each of the big trucks after uh this car there's a dodge and a chevy as well and the reason why the ford is the last one is because from what everybody that i know tells me that these old older 2000s fords are incredibly unreliable and working on them is an incredible nightmare so that's why it's a little bit lower but if you want a diesel big ass truck ford f Bitty. Coming in at third place, this is going to offend the truck guys like crazy, but it is the better Ford truck, in my opinion, the Ford Ranger. I think the early, at least the early 2000s, it's like, yes, the new Ford F-Series are much better than the new Ford Rangers for sure. Without a doubt in my mind, I agree with that. But in the early 2000s, I feel like the Ford Ranger is the better truck. I really do. Uh, they're just more reliable, more practical, and they're amazing. They come with a four liter V6 making 207 horsepower and it is four by four. Think about that for a second. This truck weighs like a whole ton less than the Ford F-250, but it only has 50 horsepower less than it which is incredible as a v6 so it's better on gas it's cheaper it's way more reliable and it's a whole lot more fun because it's so lightweight my friend it, i think the ford ranger if you're ford ranger in general is just an incredible incredible truck i put it in so many videos i just made a deep dive on it it is an incredible incredible truck but in my opinion i'm putting it one spot higher than the f-250 friend and if you have an issue with that i'm sorry coming in at the second location the silver medal of this list if you ain't first you're last is the Dodge Ram 1500 third generation. Once again, I had to look up the whole generations thing with these Dodge Rams, but the third gen, in my opinion, is just such a beautiful truck and it's pretty good too. It has a lot of good, good bits about it. Let me tell you a little bit about that. It comes with a 5.7 liter V8. I'm pretty sure it's a Hemi V8 too, which is pretty baller. That makes 345 horsepower and it's a four by four. 345 horsepower, pretty much 350. That's pretty crazy. Now the truck is very heavy because it's a full size truck. It's a big boy, but it's still impressive. 350 horsepower is still impressive. Now, yes, it's not a turbo diesel. There's not a lot of turbo diesels you can find for under 5K. I'm pretty sure those are Cummins, by the way. So there's no Cummins under 5K, but um, it's still such a good truck, dude. Like if you, I love the looks of the Dodge Ram 1500. See, they, they, they just, I don't know. I love the Dodge Rams. I'm, I think everybody that I, know that's owned a dodge ram says they're very enjoyable vehicles to own so it's here at the second place 
But first place might be a little bit biased because my dad's owned Chevys his whole life, but trust me, I'm not really a big, you know, truck enthusiast anyway, so it doesn't really influence my opinion, but it's a Chevy Silverado 1500 Cat Eye. Before I get into like the engine and everything, the reason why this is first place is because it just seems like an incredible, incredible deal in every every aspect it comes with a 5.3 liter v8 making 325 horsepower and it is a 4x4 from what i can tell the cat eye or this generation silverado because i'm pretty sure this is just a facelifted uh, silverado but this generation of silverado is like the least wanted one right now and they are an absolute bargain deal dude they are an absolute steal of a deal chevy as once again as far as i can tell from whatever from what everybody else has said about working on trucks Chevy is one of the more reliable ones in the early 2000s. Back then, they had really reliable motors, and it makes sense. They made the LS back then, so they obviously were doing something right back then. And they still has 325 horsepower. It's a little bit lighter than both the F250 and the Dodge Ram. It still has the same towing capacity. It's decent looking. It has a bunch of customization for it. It's just a slept-on truck, and, and it's really, really cheap. Like the F250, you're going to have a hard time finding that under 5K. The Dodge Ram... You probably won't have a hard time finding it under 5k, but it might be in a little bit of iffy condition. The Silverado, however, you can find one of those under 5k that is like mint condition. Well, like not mint condition, but it'll have like 100,000 miles for under 5k. That's a good truck in my opinion. That, that, that deserves a number one spot. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can see me by the way. I just realized it is so dark in this room and the light's right over there, but I am too lazy to go turn on that light. So you know what? I hope you guys can see me. If you can't, I'm here. My name is Mark Roden, and it's not just a black screen talking to you. You don't need to freak out. It's me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that comment button. There's not a comment button. What am I talking about? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. In all seriousness, let me know in the comments if you actually would like to see that little mini series I came up with in the beginning of the video. If you guys would, I would love I would love to do some of those. I feel like they'd be a fun twist on my cheap cars series because I always do cheap cars. You guys obviously like cheap cars. They're not going anywhere, but I want to change it up a bit because it gets a little repetitive and it's like it's like the same thing over and over again. I try changing it up as much as I can, but there's only so much you can do about cheap cars. So if you guys have any sort of ideas about like cheap car videos that you'd like to see, shoot them at me. Shoot them. I'm a, I'm a target. Use, use me as a target practice, buddy. Hit me. I got a hazard vest on. No, I don't. That would mean you wouldn't hit me. I'm a deer. Hit me, buddy. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. That's Tanya. Have a nice night.